just a cemetery. It is also where the Battle of Lundy's Lane was fought on July 25th, 1814. Most of the bodies of those who died during the battle were gathered up and burned, but I can barely dig a hole without coming across some sort of evidence of the battle. Buttons, clothing, musket balls, and the occasional body. When I find them, I try to gather them up and give them a decent burial with a small marker. Here is the grave of Captain Hull, an American who died during the Battle of Lundy's Lane. Water. He's been shot in both legs. For God's sake, carry him away. But sir, he's an American. That's an order. Water. Take him to Dr. Dunlop and quick. Yes, Lieutenant. Please, water. Water, please. Captain, here, drink this. Some brandy and water. It's a chilling, it's a chilling night, and who's to say which side has won? <laughs> this bloody battle has taken its toll on both of our sides. The past 36 hours have been marching, fasting, and fighting. We are all weak, fatigued, and wretched. Dare I say, our leaders made some rash decisions. We even fired upon our own men. As did we. Brigadier General Scott watched as the British troops approached, and foolishly he decided to try an experiment. He ordered us to attack in a column through Drummond's line. He shouted, Are these troops prepared to attack? I know they are prepared for anything. Forward and charge, my brave fellows. Forward and charge. It was dark. We were met with grave disaster. We walked right through the crossfire and were shot at by both sides. Save your breath. And though I have come from a military family, my father, a general... My I, father? General Hall. General Hall? Who surrendered Detroit? The same. Ah! So then we are both the sons of generals. Though I have no stomach for cruel punishment, the other officers have great made fun of me. It teased me often because I fainted when I saw my first flogging. 300 lashes we officers are permitted to order upon our men. And though others may flock to these beatings, I cannot bear this punishment parade. Your name, Captain? Abraham. Abraham. I must be off. The Indians are starting to prowl about, scalping and plundering. Look, we both know there are men on both of our sides who would steal from... Is there something I could take for you to give to your family? A go. watch? A ring? Go, and go. Come for me in the morning. I'll give them to your charge. Farewell then, new friend. May we meet again. <laughs> A young man of his word, 19-year-old Lieutenant John LeCouture returned in the morning. And there lay Abraham Hall stripped of all possessions. Captain Hull, the only American officer to be buried here. Though they came from opposing armies, these two young men found friendship amidst the battle smoke and devastation. Follow me. Naturally, in Niagara.